Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome. And uh, it's really an honor to have all of you here. You know, today you traveled from Brooklyn, right? So you got a taste of what your Rebbe does every morning. Every, he, he does this, you know, you come to school, you roll out of bed, and your Rebbe does this drive every morning to come and teach for you. Um, it's important for you to realize the work that Rabbi Weiss puts in into you. And, you know, he expects big things from all of you. You know, you're just, you're just starting now. And if you could make your start strong, you'll be way ahead of so many people. You know, I have people here in the shul. There's a man that sits right over here who first had a bris milah at the age of 30. And he is uh, now learning dafyaimi and he comes to other shiurim. And that's having started Aleph Bays at 30. Imagine the advantage you have that you're already B'nai Taira now. You know what you could accomplish? You know what you could do with your life? But it's very important that it's sad when people miss out on the time that they're in. You know, Ramila used to say, we make a bracha, Shech yonu v'kiyamonu v'giyonu l'azman hazeh, that you give life and you let us reach this time. He said, people are always thinking about, what am I going to do? What am I going to do in the summer? What's going to be next year? He said, live now. Dabar bi'itoy matoy, something in its time, how good it is. You know, there, there, there are parents that say, oh, I wish I would have spent more time with my children. There are people that go out to get married and I say, oh, I wish I would have thought better of who, who, who I marry. People miss out on the time. Your time now is to learn. Your time, you, later on in life, you're busy. You have children, you have a wife, you have this, well, they're good things, but they, they make you busy. You have to make a, pay, pay the bills. Now you have time that you can learn. It's, it's a precious time that, that you don't get back. So you got to use every minute. And, and another thing, there are people that later on in life, they're sorry that they didn't ask questions. One day there's going to be a little boy or a little girl that's going to say to you, Tati, Abba, Daddy, why? And you're going to say, oh, I wish I would have asked my Rebbe that question. You know? But why don't people ask? People don't ask because loyabayshin, lomad. People are embarrassed. I'm going to admit that I don't know. Don't worry about that. You don't know something? Ask. That's, that's why you have a Rebbe. You know, you're just starting. You ain't going to go to eighth grade. You ain't going to high school. You have so much opportunity to, to learn. Well, can I do this on Shabbos? You know, how do I know, really? That this is the way it is. Something's bothering you? You know, Rav Miller used to say a great thing. He says, it says in Pirkei Yavis, Dama lahoshiv l'apikaris. Know what to answer the apikaris. So Rav Miller says, what? You're not supposed to be near an apikaris. Stay away from an apikaris. Harcheik mi shochan ra. Stay away from a bad neighbor. What do you mean? What do you mean know what to answer the apikaris? So Miller says, know how to answer the Apikaris in your own head. There are questions that you have. It's normal to have questions. But don't keep them in your head. 
learn how to answer them. You have a wonderful Rebbe. And you know something? Your Rebbe might not, not know the answer right away. But that's okay. He'll go home. He'll open up the Svarim. He knows where to look. And if he doesn't know, he lives in Lakewood. There's a base medrash with a thousand Talmidei Chachamim. So, it says in the Gemara a lot of times, one of the Amorayim, he didn't know. So what did he do? He went and he asked in the base of Medrash. In the base of Medrash, the think tank at the base of Medrash, there's a lot of answers. So, but the main thing is, use this time. You have such, such great time now. Don't waste it. Don't waste even one day. I want to give you a message. It's an honor to have you here. It really is an honor. Whatever I share with you, you could use, you're young, you could use for, for hopefully, you'll live, a, you'll live 100 till 100 or more. You could use for so many years. You're in shul now. Shul is like the holiest place. What do we keep in the shul? Torah. You know that the Torah is not from here. It wasn't made. It wasn't made in, in Japan. The Torah comes from heaven. It is our, our holiest. We keep it in shul because it's a very holy place. So the first thing you have to know is throughout life, when you're in shul, behave differently than when you're in the street, then when we, you're with your friends, sure. You know, by the Goyim, they say, be quiet in the library. Shh. Shh. People are reading Harry Potter here. Shh. When people come into the library, they're quiet. Shh. By the Goyim, people go into the movies, they're quiet. It's not nice to talk in the movies. The people are watching a movie. Shh. When we're in shul, you know what people do in shul? There's somebody in the corner is davening for a sick person. Another person is davening because they don't feel well. Another person is davening because they have a child that can't have children. Another person is davening because they have a daughter that can't get married. It's a serious play shul. So the first thing you do is you behave in shul. They say seva, old age, stands for shtike yofa b'shas It's good to be quiet. But now I'm going to tell you something that might be very, sound even strange to you. Do you know that you come to shul to work? That's right. If you know how to daven, you come to work. You know why it's called davening? Davenin is de avinan, that of our father, of Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov. That's what the Bnei Yisachar says. And when you come to shul, you come to work. Some Rabbi Weiss. I come to shul, I sit down, I daven. That's not work. I know what work is. When my mother asks me to clean my room, that's work. Davening is not work. Davening is work. What's the work of the heart? That's prayer. If you don't work in shul, you miss the boat. You don't got it. You don't got it. When you come to shul, you come to work. Well, so you'll say, so Rabbi Weiss, explain to me, what's the work? So let me tell you, there's a three-letter word. It's called Amen. Tell you a story about Amen. Shmiel passed away at the age of 83. He goes up to Shemayim and Hashem judges him. And uh, after Hashem finishes judging him, he sh shows Shmiel a wooden gate, a nice wooden gate, red wood, wood like the Swamshank over there, a nice gate. And uh, he says, 
this is your Olam Haba. Shmuel sees, it looks nice, and then he looks up and he sees silver gates and pearly gates and golden gates and diamond gates. And then there's gates out of titanium and plutonium with these smells and light and music. He says, Hashem, will I ever get up there? And Hashem looks at him sadly and he says, Shmuel, Shmuel, what can I tell you? You didn't learn enough. You didn't give enough tzedakah. You yelled in the home. But don't worry, it's a nice place. There's a lot of good people over here. It's a nice community. Shmuel goes in and it's talking nice. He has a very nice bungalow there and he knows people. And everything is fine until two years later, his buddy Chesky comes up. And he sees Chesky and says, ha ha, now, now I got, I'm really going to get a friend now. And then he's shocked. He sees them outfitting Chesky with a jetpack. And Chesky is flying up to the gates, the plutonium gate. Shmiel comes to Rabbi Nishalim. Rabbi Nishalim! Chesky? Chesky played poker like me and, 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 and he bummed around like me. And what, what's going on? And he looked at him sadly and he said, Ay, 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 Chesky. Did they never tell you that the master key to all the gates of Gan Eden is Amen? You know when you were sitting in shul and daydreaming like a space cadet, Chesky heard Baruch Atah Hashem Mekadesh Shabbos and he answered Amen, it's true. And when he heard Shalaya Sani Gai, he said Amen, yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a guy. It's true. And it says, it's a Gemara. All the gates of Gan Eden. Now, you have to understand that to answer Amen is not an easy business. First of all, why do we say Amen? Why don't we say MS? Wouldn't that be good? Right? You hear, Brachat Hashem, Amazing, MS! Why is it Amen? You should say Amen, not Amen. You know why we say Amen? So some people will tell you that Amen is Bigmatria, the Shem Hashem, Bigsivasa, Yubikriyasa. It's the Gematria of Adonai and Yudke Vavke. It's Bigmatria 91. Okay, that's, that's good. But there's a much bigger reason. If I ask you, now, now I want you to be honest with me. If I ask you, do you believe when you daven Hashem is listening? So everybody would say, oh, of course, Rabbi Weiss. So it's Emes, you know. We're Jews, you know. So let me ask you something. How come when you daven, your mind wanders? Hashem is listening! Uh, so the answer is, you know it here but you don't know it here. That's what you say in Elena, V'yadata yaim v'ashivrisa l'vavecha. You know it here, I know it, but I don't feel it. You answer MS, that's just intellectual. Omein is emuna. I believe it. Now every time you hear something, Baruch atah Hashem chayne nadas, that it's Hashem who gives me my das. I have peace not because I'm a great tactful guy, you know, but because Hashem gives me peace. And I believe that. To say it and to think it is work. That's it. But you know what you get? You get to all those gates after 120. Now, if somebody's going to start doing this at 40, it's hard. They're going to start doing this at 60. It's really hard. If they're going to start doing it at your age, it's so much easier. So get used to coming. Now, there's a lot of other work, but we don't have time for that now. We're only starting with one word. But that word, Amen, you know, you hear Kaddish, Yiskadal, Yiskadal, Shmei Rabbah. 
Hashem should be great, he should be holy. He is great and holy. What do you mean he should be? No, there should come the time that the Mashiach will come and everybody will see Hashem. He'll become greater because now the Goyim will buy you. Oh yeah, Hashem echad, Ishmael echad. Amen. I believe that's going to happen. And you add to that, not only I believe it, but on many brachas we want it to happen. So as the Eulah's Talmud says, add the second kavana. Amen. You like you hear bracha Hashem shemeat tefillah. Amen. It's true you listen, but I want you to listen to me and answer me. So ulavai. And let it happen. I believe that Hashem is going to return the Shechina Tirish Knock away that mask and build the base of Migdish. Amen. It's true. I believe, but Ulavai. Let it happen soon. And every time you do that, besides the fact that it's Marichab Yama Vishnaisav, it gives you a long life, Amen. That's what the Gemara says in Brachas. You're investing, you're getting a master key. For Eilam Haba. I want to give you a bracha. You should be so lucky that you should continue to have Rebbeim that love you and care for you and daven for you, like Rabbi Weiss. I give you a bracha that you should always be healthy. You should have good friends. It's so important to have good friends. You should have simcha sachayim. You should be happy. You should have a cheshit for learning. And Hashem should be mamali kol mishalay seichem l'tayva. Have a wonderful time today.